Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Tyler. This is going to be another video request and this has been a person who has been following my channel for quite some time. But before I get into the video request, I want to say this. For all of those who are not familiar with my podcast on FM Anchor, you can click on the description link down below after you get done watching this video. And yes, it is for free, and you can listen to it all you want to on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify as well. Only thing that you got to do is click on the link down below, and you will find it in either the left or the right upper hand corner to go listen to my podcast if you listen to other folks' podcasts on those three platforms and I will also say this on my podcast it is pertaining to my best self-help content and life advice and I'm putting the fire on there the best so I'm advising all of you come and check it out as well but let me go on ahead and get into this video request this is going to be about gaslighting from narcissists, why they do what they do. When it comes to gaslighting, to me, it's like the narcissist is taking manipulation at a whole new different level. And a lot of people will say, well, they do what they do. Because they won't control. I would say that's true. And I agree. But there's something else. That is in this as well. A narcissist who gaslights. Is always looking for. Golden opportunities. And you know where it comes from. And what angles that they're looking at? The first one. They always watch and discern a good-hearted person. That's their first target of a golden opportunity. And you know the reason why? It's because a good-hearted person who doesn't have no quick and fast in a hurry discernment like a narcissist who enjoys gaslighting can be easily taken advantage of in a heartbeat. So much so to the point of that the person who has the good heart would do everything he or she can to satisfy that person. And still, there's something that narcissist is not even satisfied about. The next opportunity that a, a narcissist who gaslight will find treasure in some people when they discover it quick, fast, in a hurry. If a narcissist who loves to gaslight notice that an individual has a crush or see signs that he or she is secretly in love with him or her, you better believe that a narcissist who gaslight is going to take opportunity to capitalize on that. And you know the reason why? It's because that narcissist can put every single <laughs> false thought up inside of that head, getting that person's emotions rallied up. It's just like playing around with this individual's emotions and feelings. 
and don't even care at all. And and this narcissist who gaslights, we can leave at any time and play the game. And then come back and say something extremely manipulative in the long run and in the end. But I tell you, either one of these two opportunities that the narcissist who gaslights, they always have a backup plan in mind. These people always watching your move. These people are always are ahead of their game. So I advise all of you who are dealing with this type of situation, it's time for you to start getting on your game. You're going to have to start playing defense, tricky defense with them. That's what you're going to have to do. Because they're good at playing offense, being tricky, deceptive, and manipulative. And always planning how they're going to do it in order to succeed on you or to put you in a messed up situation. And then when they're with someone else and it doesn't go their way, I guarantee you they're going to have another plan in mind in order to try and to get you back. And you're going to have to play tricky defense with them because these people... Watch your every move. Like they're a spy or something. And you're going to have to play spy with them too. If you want to win the game and be a further ahead of them. You're going to have to study their moves too. Yeah, you let them study your moves. But you going to have to. Change your move in direction that they can't even pinpoint. You're going to have to learn how to be unpredictable with these type of people. If you decide to want to leave with leave out of their life. Because I tell you, if you don't play the hand, if you don't play the game, you'll get it taken advantage of. Just like they're preparing. You have to prepare and to have a plan. You have to have a, a plan to shut their offense down. And, and then having in a way that they didn't even see it coming from a mile away. Tricking them. You're going to have to play tricky too with these type of people. Because gaslighting is at a whole different level, folks. And they're going to continue hurting you because they see opportunity from you being good hearted or you are in love with them. And they know that you can't let them go. That's the reason why they will hurt you and do what they do. Think about that. I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. All of you have a great and wonderful day and evening.